the people from inside the church, they have to go out and the encounter of other people, mm -hmm. showing sympathy, nearness, and accepting people. And uh, you know, I think that the church today has to go along the roads of the people today mm -hmm. and to perceive what they have in their heart. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that this is the, uh, the perception that on many occasions uh, people are perceiving solitude, loneliness. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to shout out to everybody how much God loves them. What can you what can you say in only 140 characters? Though you know you're you're doing a tweet and you're limited by what you can say, and yet the Holy Father's words are so very popular. Yeah. Why? Why is that? But uh, you know, allow me to just to make a reference. Uh, do you remember, uh, "Blessed are the poor in spirit"? <laughs> Less than 140 characters. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, these expressions of Jesus, these words of Jesus, have changed the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I am accustomed to say that uh, in this uh, uh, process of desertification of the life of the human being today, uh, people are experiencing on many occasions a desert, mm -hmm. uh, a drop of fresh water like a tweet, mm -hmm. can be very helpful mm -hmm. to rediscover the meaning and the pleasure to be with him, with Jesus, mm -hmm. and uh, to share life, a life of love, of solidarity mm -hmm. with other people. Sure. This weekend, the Holy Father is making a very important pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Yes. And he says it's, it's a religious trip. This is not a political trip, he says. What, what does he hope to communicate? To, what is the message that he hopes that the world will see from this trip? For me, for me I, I mentioned in two dimensions that I like very much. The successor of Peter is going to the roots where Jesus was born where Jesus was operating, where Jesus was giving his life, and where the first disciples were having an experience of his resurrection. For me, it's important that the successor of Peter mm -hmm. is going to Bethlehem, is going to Jerusalem. And uh, because I think that every time we have to go back to our roots, you know, there was a, a, fair more, a famous theologian saying that the Holy Land is the fifth gospel. <laughs> and you rediscover, uh, I, I was on many occasions to the Holy Land, and the pages of the gospel, uh, reading them where uh, Jesus was passing through, are, are receiving a new, a new perspective, a, a new color, I would say. Mm -hmm. The second aspect that I like very much is the ecumenical aspect. As you know, the, the Holy Father will meet in Jerusalem the, the ecumenical patriarch, mm -hmm. the Orthodox patriarch, Bartholomew. And I like that to, to think that the Holy Father, the successor of Peter, and the successor of Andrew, because uh, Bartholomew, uh, being the, 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 the ecumenical patriarch and, the, uh, and, bound and connected with Constantinople, is the successor of Andrew. Mm -hmm. I like that now the successor of Peter and the successor of Andrew are meeting together in Jerusalem. Sure. Uh, we have to rediscover such a brotherhood, and uh, and I like it. Mm -hmm. Is inspiring. Sure. Is uh, is uh, giving strength to our heart, mm -hmm. and uh, and we are looking forward. You see, with uh, with uh, a certain uh, hope, and uh, and our hope is really connected with this with this presence of Jesus among us. Yeah. 
Your Excellency, I wish we had more time. We could talk forever, I think. It uh, would be nice. It <laughs> would really be nice. Thank you so much for being with us. It was a pleasure us. to be here with you. And allow me to say uh, goodbye to all our listeners and televiewers, indeed, with, uh, with a special blessing from, from our Lord. Thank you. God bless indeed. Thank you.